The governing structure of Delco Water, being a, a nonprofit cooperative, is is the best of both worlds for our customers. We think that uh, they get the opportunity of knowing that every dollar that they spend on their water bill or on their tap fee goes to running a nonprofit corporation. None of that's going to a shareholder in another state or another country, for instance. Um, but also, we're much more efficient and effective than a typical government agency because we are private. So we have uh, we able to offer our customers the benefit in both cases and and, uh, and at all times. As a nonprofit cooperative, we are looking out for our customers' best interests. That's first and foremost of the way we serve our customers here at Delco. Our Olentangy complex here off of State Route 315 is being expanded. It currently serves 19 million gallons per day to our customers, and with this new project that we've hired building crafts at a cost of about $17 million, it's going to go from that 19 million gallons per day to 29 million gallons per day. And that provide both drought tolerance today and a lot of growth opportunity for the future. The, the right summer that, that had a significant drought would actually deplete our water resources. So with the expansion of this plant, we're gonna be in good shape to serve those existing customers for their existing use. But just as importantly, we're looking forward to the future. Uh, this region, the Columbus region, is one of the few that's growing in Ohio and in the Midwest. And it's highly necessary for us to plan decades ahead to make sure that we always stay in front of that growth. We're always ready for new customers that come online. So this plant, the expansion, will allow us to serve those additional customers for the next decade or more. So one of the big things that we're asking for our customers is they be more considerate and more efficient with their water use. So a lot of our customers sprinkle their lawns, and we have no problem with that. But we do want them to sprinkle as efficiently as possible. So if they can follow the guidelines set up by the Soil and Water District, one inch of water per week on turf, is enough to keep it in healthy condition. They can do that. Um, that would be the, the best thing that our customers could do because that will make these investments we're making, over $50 million investments in source water and a treatment plant expansion, that will make it last longer and longer so that we can continue to be as an effective uh, utility for our customers. My name is Glenn Marsloff. I'm the general manager and CEO here at the Delco Water Company.